Wednesday, everybody. Hello, hello. Well, hello there, Michelle. I see you. I see you, Michelle. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Today's my brother's birthday, so I need to I need to send him a little message after we get done with this sale. Hello, Kitchy Cat. Hello, Cranky Lady. So yeah, while you're while you're coming in or while you're there waiting, why don't you just go ahead and, and do the thumbs up? Hey, LaDonna. LaDonna's lurking. She's lurking while working. Hey, Emma. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, this is my weekly live Wednesday sale. I have 30 items because, you know, we're I'm 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 shortening them up a little bit. Uh, so I can still sell some items and you, everyone can still go on with their day and I can get started on shipping. However, I'm also having a sale tomorrow evening on Trusty Huckster Mercantile's channel. So it's the four sellers, one sale, sale tomorrow night at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So make sure that you're subscribed to Patrick's channel and you can check out myself, Patrick, Mary Beth and Laura from Fat Bird Finds and Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. So make sure that you will be in attendance tomorrow. I started pulling the things that I'm going to be selling tomorrow and I will be posting a preview, not on YouTube, but on Instagram. I might post a picture. I'll probably post a picture on in my community tabs for YouTube. So make sure that you are going to be attendance for that. Hey, Stephanie and Sue and Cindy and the Thrifting Librarian. Hello, happy Wednesday. All right, the way that this works is I have 30 items and um, everything will have a number. When I hold up the item, I'm going to describe it a little bit. I will let you how, know how much it is. The first person in the chat to put the number in will be able to claim that item. Um, try to be on your device that has the fastest internet speed. Internet speeds do vary. I will have some things that are a what I call an offer up. And so what that means, it's kind of an auction style. I hold up the item. Um, I'll go ahead and say what the starting bid is. And if you want that item, sometimes it's best just to get, just to say what you want to pay for it. Um, and if you need to put that power bid in, you put that power bid in and um, see how it goes. So um, while during the offer ups, it is very, very helpful if you, when you've reached your limit, that you do type out in all capital letters, especially that does help get things going a little bit more. Um, and then we are able to just move on and show some more items. Um, what else? Oh, send me an email, uh, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com with your actual name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. I only accept PayPal. You do not have to have a PayPal card. You can go on, it's free to you, and you can link your credit card or your uh, debit card to your, to PayPal. And it's just a safe way for everybody. It's safe for you. It's safe for me. It's safe for everybody. Hey, Dolores. Hey, Dolores. All right, what else? Am I forgetting? Um, I don't think anything else. Oh, I have a giveaway. So I will be do, giving away two items today. Um, the way that the giveaway works, if you are, if you purchase something, then you have an opportunity to win. Um, actually you could win both things because if you've purchased more than one thing, you just have more of a chance to win. They're lightweight things because I don't want shipping to be an issue. The first thing, actually they're both air plant vessels. The first one is this little vintage, uh, gold accented this one is actually made in germany this is a little made in germany air plant vase you'll get that as well as a vintage rescue squad sticker the next giveaway is this little now she's made in japan but she's just a little lady and she's had a she's had a hard day at work but she'll hold your air plant and you will get her and a stay weird Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter sticker. So that's the other giveaway. Both of these stickers are also still available. They're $4 each. If you want one, all you have to do is email me and let me know. If you want a Stay Weird or a Vintage Rescue Squad sticker, they're $4 each. And, and all the merch and stuff, the shirts and stuff are all available down on the shopping link down in the, uh, the little shelf down below. All right, let's get started. 
I got my bucket, my lovely bucket full of cards. I'm gonna mix them up. Hi, June. Hey, Proud American. So if you've not registered to, to buy something, go ahead and send me the email now, thriftorjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. Hey, Will, if you've already sent me one or if you've purchased something from me before, you don't have to register. Just if you're new. If you're new, welcome. And I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy that you're joining. Okay. Yes. You do. Now, the Shop the Shelves, that will be on Monday. So every Monday at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I go live and we walk around and you guys help me pick the items that we are going to be selling in the live sales. So if you're able to tune into that, that's a lot of fun too. Hello, Mother. My mom is Dairy3, uh, 34119. Yeah, that's her. That's my mother. All right. The first thing I pulled, Michelle, I hope you're watching because this is something that Michelle said. Oh, I like that. This is the first thing. And it, I put my little helper plant in here, this little faux air plant. But this is a very mid-century modern uh, little planter. You can see the little speckles in it. I think the speckles are, well, they're kind of like a, a brown or a tan color. Um, there is part of the sticker on the inside. The inside does have a little bit of wear on it, like a little bit of a leftover spots from the water. What's the work, word I'm looking for? Uh, water stain, probably. But I love the little shape of it. It sort of looks like a little tulip top. Um, it is marked NL, N9L. This is an American-made little, little matte planter. This is $18 and it's number one. Yeah, it's a very pale pink, very vintage pink color. $18 number one. Yep. Perfect to just set up on a little shelf. Oh, and one of the things that I should have mentioned too, and we'll, we'll talk about that here in just a second. I see you, Michelle. Michelle got it. Also, Emma, my daughter, is in the chat right now. She is the one that will, during the offer ups or during the sales in general, she will be the one, Emily Pate, there she is, to say who won the item. And also, if you have any questions, it's hard for me to stop during the sale. If you have a question for her, you can just do the at Emily and to get her attention and she can try to answer the question. But she is the only person that I want to be announcing the winners because it does get very confusing. So she is the, the one person. Um, and I just saw, I saw Wortley. Michael is not. You don't need to apologize to Michael. Michael was hungry. Michael's good. Michael's all about good and fun, but Michael was hungry and was ready to go. You don't need to apologize. You're good, Wortley. You're good. All right, what can I stick this little guy in? Well, we'll just stick him back in there. Well, no, we'll put him in here. We're going to reuse this little guy. All right, next item. I hope I'm not buffering. Vintage and Venus says that I'm buffering. All right, the first offer up of the day it are, these are made in Japan. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These remind me of an old actor like from the 30s and I can't think of who it is I want to say kind of remind me of a little bit of um yeah Fair Douglas Fairbanks but look at that face doesn't he look like a movie star like he, like I don't know why but it kind of looks like I'm thinking that he has like a little mustache but they're cute little Dalmatians I'm starting these at $14 they are cute. They're made in Japan. They do not have their stoppers in them, but they're cute little Dalmatians. There are no chips, cracks, or flaws on them other than not having their stoppers. That is a thing. But don't they look like they've got little mustaches? Hi, I'm Douglas Fairbanks. And I'm Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Nobody asked you. Go over there. See? Clark Gable. Yeah, that could be another one too. That would be another one too. But yeah, these are super cute. I've not seen these before. And they're very, they're very shiny. And I don't know. I just like the way that they feel. 
but it's Douglas Fairbanks and Douglas Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Now Douglas Fairbanks was he was a, a cheater on good old Mary Pickford, poor Mary Pickford. But you know, and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. was you know he was a spoiled rotten child. So anyway, all right, I'm seeing. Thank you, Lena. Lena is saying she's out. I see uh, Cranky Lady Vintage at twenty six dollars. I see Belinda at twenty seven. They are shakers. You can't really tell because they've got all these little spots on their on their faces. But yeah, they are salt and pepper shakers. They have now, and and the paint is not cold painted, which is really nice because a lot of the times on these shakers, especially the ones that are made in Japan, the black and some of the colors will will wash right off because the, there's not a glaze over it. These are fully glazed, and they do have a number on the bottom. Could be, I, I meant to look them up, but I didn't. Could be Napco, could be Lufton, don't know. All right, I see, uh, no, I see Belinda Carroll is at 31. Cute little Dalmatian puppy shakers with lashes, but they're kind of Douglas Fairbanks or, you know, Clark Gable. Okay, Cranky Lady is out. I'm going to start saying last call. Belinda Carroll is at 31, and I'm going to start counting down at 5, 4, 3, oh, I see 33, 5, 4, 3, we're at 35, all right, last call, last call. Okay, I'm going to start counting down. Okay, Belinda is five. And, the, and, and then once Emma says sold, that's it. That will be the end of the bid. So five, four, three, two, one, bid end. So where you're, okay, sold to, Emma will put in the chat who it was sold to and for how much. I'm pretty sure it was CLC at 35. Thank you so much, Connie. They're adorable. They're adorable. Cutie patooties. I will start doing a countdown. So when I start doing the countdown, that's the time for you to like, to say, okay, she's doing the countdown. I got to get my bid in if, if you still are interested in them. All right. Yep. Yeah, CLC. Thank you so much. All right. The next item, I'm going to shake up my, my pot here, is this. Now, I went to an estate sale that had a ton of corgi items. And corgis are about the cutest dogs. I'm not going to lie. They're very, very cute. And again, I like to buy very breed-specific dogs. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to buy a dog and I'm like, well, what breed are you? If it's cute and the price is right, I'll buy it. But I do like to buy very breed specific dogs. And I loved this little trinket. Now Emma thought about keeping this because she really likes corgis, but I love corgis because there's a look at their little legs. They got no legs. I love them, they're so cute. So this little corgi dish, and I love corgis because they're just, they're just like, yeah, I'm short, but I'm stocky and I'm strong. And I will, I will herd all these these uh, chickens or ducks or whatever. Anyway, this on the back, I don't know who made this necessarily, but I, and I can't even read it. All I do know is it says 2003. So I don't know if that's a maker's mark. I don't know if that is when someone received this as a gift. I don't know, I, I can't tell. But the, the trinket dish itself has no chips, cracks or flaws on it. I just think that it's really cute. And I actually had it leaning up on a little plate stand like that. So you could display it like that in your house. But this little guy is $16 and he's number nine. It is the breed that the queen has. And the queen had um, corgis ever since she was a child. Yeah, hi, Dolores. I'm so happy that you're here. So corgi dish, $16, number nine. I see Kim Rogers. What a Corgus piece. Ah! It's Corgus. Corgius. 
It's, they're so stinking cute because they're just like, they're so proud and they're, they think that they're bigger than what they are, I think. Or maybe they don't think that, but they seem like they do. All right, the next items. Now, these are going to be sold as a lot. They are Home Co. And I'm telling you what, don't be hating on Home Co. Home Co. does very well for me, especially when you find pieces that are as adorable as these. And like I said, you will get all three of these pieces. Um, this is not an offer up. I'm just going to do a flat price for these, but they are Home Co. But they're little elephants. And not only are they elephants, they're little chubby baby elephants. Look at that. So you get this little sweet guy. I think corgis do shed. And then you get this little fella. And all of their trunks are up. Aren't they cute? And then this little guy. Oh my gosh. Look at their little rolls. Aren't they cute? They're cute. So you will get all three of these. All three of these. There's no chips, cracks, or flaws on them. They are adorable. Adorable. Elephants are the sweetest. They are an emotional animal. They have feelings. And you wouldn't think because they're just these big monstrous creatures, but they, they have feelings. I know me too, Lori. I don't know how about cute, but I am a chubby elephant. I have gained so much weight over this. Anyway, these three, these three elephants are $22 for the set of three of them. And they are number eight. The elephant trio, $22, number eight eight they can paint the school that i used to teach in had a um a painting that was painted by an elephant in the library shirley pearl yeah yeah i i agree there is they they are numbered don't oh wait nope not shirley pearl i'm sorry deborah sorry shirley deborah heimbecker deborah heimbecker was it yeah i I don't, I, I like Home Co. I buy Home Co. If you can get it at a great price. The uh, one thing that's really popular right now are the little Home Co. fairies. If you can find those in the, in the trio, because there's three of them. Um, they're really cute. So thank you so much. They're very cute. Hey, Amanda. Um, who got the Corgi, Emma? Someone was asking about the Corgi. Ruby the elephant painted at the Phoenix Zoo for years. Yeah. They're and like they cry. Mm-hmm. They have emotions and they cry. Makes you just want to go up and hug them. You know? I mean, they can kill you. <laughs> let's, let's be honest if they wanted to. But you see one and you just want to be, you just want to go up and hug it. Who needs a hug? And you have to just test your luck. All right. The next thing is. I've got a lot of animal things today, but I like to buy a lot of figural things anyway. So I tend to do sell a lot of, um, of animal items, but I'm not going to make any apologies for it because I love them. This is a Redware pig and it says it is a Fred Roberts company. And I have, this is, I have more Fred Roberts today. So this is also Fred Roberts. Um, and then I am going to do an offer up on this. I'm gonna start this at $12. It is Redware. You can see it's Fred Roberts, made in Japan. The It's Redware. The paint on this is excellent, in excellent condition. But on his little back, it says, for that mink. So it's a piggy bank. Um, and now this is the kind of piggy bank that if you, you have to smash it, if you wanna get the money out. Or, you know, you just do this and shake it until it comes out of the hole. Or I've seen people, like, sometimes you find these pigs and, like, or piggy banks in general, and, like, the slot's been made bigger because people have, like, chiseled into their hole to get their money out. But look at the cold paint. Now, this is, the, the paint on this is a cold paint, so you wouldn't want to put this in your sink to wash it. It's in excellent condition it's like it's brand new um, but the cold paint is very good and look at that face and those lashes 
but it's got gold accents on its little hoofs there. It's got hand-painted flowers. It's got a little bit of a tape piece. Hand-painted flowers on the back and on the side here. For that mink is also um, hand-painted winking pig antiques. Yeah, it's very cute. The bow is in excellent condition. It is Fred Roberts Company. schizophrenic pig yeah, it's like hello wink wink for that mink i did just sell another one of these not too long ago that had the head that would come off it had like a little clasp right here and it was for that cadillac so i don't know if you when you bought these if maybe they were blanks and then you know you could add what you wanted to on them i'm not quite sure all right, I'm seeing Christina Gonzowski at 21. Look at the eyebrows, too, and the hair. You did buy that one, Tammy. Yeah, I didn't sell it that long ago, but, you know, I don't ever remember who, who I sold things to most of the time. There's this little tail. It also has a little bit of gold on that. I'm going to start counting down. I'm going to start at 10. We'll start at 10. So now is the time. 10, 9, 8, 7, hi Sarah Lee, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. So we're waiting now for Emma to type in sold. Okay, so sold to Christina Gonzowski for $21. Thank you so, so much for the piggy. Hi, Dwight. I saw Dwight pop in. Hi, Hajipan. Yes, the owl lover. Yes, just go ahead right now and send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com with your Net, your actual name, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email. I'm just going to lay you right here. And you'll be good to go. Yay! Thank you, Christina. Thank you, thank you. All right, next item we have is a also an offer up. There it is. It is a children's book lot. There are four books in this lot. I'm going to start this at $14.00. You will get the Barnyard book. Unfortunately, it has some damage right there where the sticker was taken off. I didn't take this sticker off because I've got Undo. Undo will take the sticker off of Ephemera. But this is the Barnyard book, and it is from 1945. Judith Adams wrote her name in this book. Beautiful illustrations. It is a, hi, trusty, huckster, hi, Patrick. It is a hardback book, so this is the first book. The second book you will get are these two activity books. Look at the graphics on this. This one's Let's Play. It's got the same graphic on the front and back. And let's have fun. Look at, like I said, there's little, there's little baby Barb and little baby Jeffrey doing puzzles and putting together, uh, cutting out paper dolls. But these are paperback and a lot of fun. They're little activity books. So some of them have been colored in or drawn in, but like some of them have not. So a picture to color. These are all made, they're both made by Whitman, which I love. So if you are a junk journaler, you know, these are definitely good things to use for that. There's the old dollhouse furniture. So that one is Let's Have Fun and Let's Play. Uh, guess again, when does a girl sneeze three times when she can't help it? What is for, what is forever bedtime? The back of a watch. I don't quite understand these, but overshoe relay. It's just like little activities. It's an activity book. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember that game? Those are fun. And then the last one is a reader and this one is trips to take i like the cover art on it it does have a little bit of water damage right here um this is a reader 
You get all of these books right now, and I don't know if anyone has started the bid, but we are, we're, I was starting them at $14. I'm not sure where we're at, but you will get all of these. Um, this book, I like the covers on the inside. Hey, Yvonne. This one is from 1928. 1928. Um, this one, I think, I always look and see, but I don't think it has any holiday artwork in here. That's what I always look for. But it does have a lot of really nice artwork in there. Um, and this one, I would say is, oh, wait, it does. I take that back. Look, it's got a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, Mr. Jack-o'-lantern, I like your coat of yellow, your twinkling eyes and happy grin. You're such a cheerful fellow. Oh, wait, I got to show you something else in a second, too. I'm sure the witches love you, and this is why, you see, you scare the goblins into fits, but oh, you can't scare me. Okay, look very closely. Look at the goblins coming. They, he's scaring the goblins away, which look a little like aliens. Look at them. Scaring the goblins away. To play Hunt the Slipper. Jamie, there you go. Hunt the Slipper. That's a game that you can play with your children. They're like, what's a... We don't want to hunt the slipper. Oh, oh. There's a story in here about brownies. The fairies and the brownies. If Michael was watching right now, he'd lose his mind. Look at the fairies and the brownies. Look at that. There they are. The fairies and the brownies. There they are again. You do get all, all of these books. Great for, now I, do, I really hope that you don't junk journal this one, but the other ones are fine. Fairies and the brownies. All right, and I can't tell. I have to go back and see where we're at as far as the price goes. But I don't think I see any more the brownie and the woodcutter anyway where are we at i see a lot of outs okay so marcia me is at 26 so i'm going to start counting down you get all three of these children books 26 dollars going once 10 9 8 hi sandra Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. And Emma will type in sold. That way she's on the same time as you guys as far as the lag. And, okay. And then Emma, I'm pretty sure they sold for... $26 to Marsha Me. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. You never hear that. I bet you, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Thank you so much. All right. Next, we have a cat planter. This is a white cat with bright green eyes with a little baby in its mouth. Now, this always freaks me out when I see a cat carrying her baby like this. I know that it's normal. I know that it's it's not hurting them, but it's just weird. The first time I saw Mama Kitty do this to her babies, I was like, ah, it just took me back. But it is a planter. You know what would be cute? Planted in this. Um, yes, I did, the owl lover. I got it. You're good. Catnip. If you planted catnip in this, that would be cute. Um, it is not marked on the bottom. Someone had written some random numbers on there. But there are no chips, cracks, or flaws on this anywhere. This kitty planter is $20, and it's number 12. $20, number 12, for the white cat with her baby planter. I see Belinda Carroll. Hi, Katie. 
I was telling everybody, Katie, that me and you and Patrick and Fatbird Finds this tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is the live sale. I'm always so happy to do a live sale at night. I never get the chance to. All right, next I have an offer up and I'm starting these at $12. These are made by Lefton and they are these pink mice. Well, he's got two jeweled eyes and he has one, but it's his little moniker. Is it that what that mo mo moniker? Is that what that's called? Anyway, they're made that has the Lefton sticker on the back. They do not have their stoppers, but they're in excellent condition. No chips, cracks, or flaws on these guys. They're very um, studious, but look at those. Monocle. Monocle. I was close. A moniker means something else, right? Monocle. So we're starting these at $12 for the Lefton Smarty Pants. He's even got jewels on his diamonds. These are like the richest mice. The richest mice you'll ever see. And this one has a little diamond on its bow tie. So starting them at 12, a moniker is a nickname. Well, what should your nickname be? Fancy Pantses? The Fancy Pants Brothers. No, you're a girl because you have a purse, which I guess doesn't really matter nowadays, but you also have a big stick. I think she's gonna beat him with his stick, with her stick. Cause she's got a purse and a stick. What is, what does she have a stick for? And he just has a pipe. Maybe that's her smoking, like, you know, what were those called? Smoking wands? Maybe, but where are we at? Oh, this is number 21. It's number 21, Freddie and Frida. Okay, Jamie is at $22. Jamie's like, oh, she's got a stick to beat her husband. I'm there. <laughs> I'm buying those. A walking stick? But why would she have it held up like that? I don't know. We don't know. We can just make up our own story. That's the fun part. A longet. Glasses on a stick. Lorganet. Oh, no, I'm going to say that wrong. You know that I am. Okay, Jamie is out. Okay, Cindy is at $23. A folded fan? Ooh, possibly. Bratwurst? I like that. She's got a big, big sausage. She's just carrying around her big sausage, and he's carrying around his big pipe. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start counting down. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, we're at $23, six, five, four, three, a baguette, two, one. So, or bid end. Okay, so we have, uh, where we go, where'd we go? Cindy Tunstall at $23. Thank you so much, Cindy. Cindy, you can make up your own story time with these pink mice. Two pink mice. Two pink mice. What's she holding in her hand? We don't know. All right. Oh, we got another offer up with another set of shakers. These are made by Sunsco Japan. These actually do have their stoppers in them. I'm starting these at $14. So they are the two little bonnet girls. She's got her little yellow bonnet and it's blue or it's white with blue flowers and a little bit of gold sponge wear on that side. She has her stopper and then we have her sister here has a blue bonnet with with like gold flowers on it and it has the sunsco japan sticker with the stopper there are no chips cracks or flaws on these girls they're in excellent condition 
Very, very kitschy, very, very fun. These I think would look cute on a, I always say this, but I think that they, you could use things for like not what their intended purpose was. So you could, these would be cute like on a baby shower cake um, or just in a, I just think that they're darling. Yeah, they do have their stickers, which means they probably weren't really used. They were just set on a shelf to be pretty. But there's their, their you shake the salt and pepper out of the top of their hats. Oh, Joanna's like uh, $44. Hi, D. So Joanne is out. Thank you, Joanne, for typing in and out. It does help. I see Joanne is at $44. 40, okay. Lori is at $45. And it's kind of odd. Their little pigtails are part of what holds them up. See, she's got her little pigtails here. And... I guess they're not really babies, are they? They're little girls. They're not babies. They're little girls because they've got a lot of hair. Now, why didn't I notice that before? They got a lot of hair for being babies. But their their paint is in excellent condition. They're very, very nice. Hairy legs. That You know what? When you look at it that way, it looks a little creepy. Like, here's her legs and here's her hands. And that she's got a big head. Kind of creepy. Okay, Lori is out. So I'm going to, Joanna's at 50. I'm going to start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, sold. And Joanne Baber for $50. They're darling. Darling, darling. Thank you, Joanne. Set them back up here on my little box. All right. Is counting down to 10 too much? Maybe I should just do it from five. I don't know. Well, we got another, we got another offer up. And it is for the blue bird of happiness. This one's in excellent condition. I'm going to start this at um $15. For the Blue Bird of Happiness, it is signed Leo Ward, 1996. It's a larger size one. No chips. The way that you can tell is, and Emma, this is number 30, but we're starting this at $15, is um, when you're looking at these and you want to check for damage, run your finger over the side of the beak as well as the tip of the tail on both the, the top, the bottom, and the sides. It's, it's very, very hard sometimes to see if the beak has a chip in it. Now, if you just want to have a whole flock of birds and you can find a bird and it does have a, ch a chip in it and you, and you can get it for a good price, they still display very, very well. This one does not have any chips or rough spots on it at all. Um, it is Leo Ward 1996 on the bottom, made by Terra Studios. Little blue bird of happy. All right, Little Treasures by Nancy is out, and I'm seeing Kim Ferris for 25. Kim Ferris for 25 right now is the offer to beat. There are interior air bubbles in here, which is just in the making process, which I kind of like myself. Cindy is out. Thank you so much. Um, I see Jolene Nelson at $26. For the Bluebird, Leo Ward, 1996. Kim is at 28. Did you guys see Michael's pink, no, purple squirrel? Oh my gosh, I had never seen that before. It was a purple glass squirrel that you could display with all of you Bluebirds. Jolene is out. I see Shirley is at $30. This one is a nice size. You know, sometimes the people like the bigger ones and a lot of people like the itty bitty ones too. So don't think that if you see these, don't think that, oh, that one's a little one. It's probably not worth as much as the big one because they are. A lot of people like the miniature ones. All right, so Jolene is out. So Shirley is at 30. Barb is at 31. So I'm going to start counting down from 10. So Barb and Shirley, 
Right now is the time to, to, to bid. So I'm going to start counting down. I will start from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, Josie's at 33, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and bid end. Shirley is out waiting on Emma to type in. Okay, so sold to Josie's Butterfly Kisses for $33. For $33. Sometimes when I see a lot of, if there's a couple people bidding in and it's just kind of going in a dollar increments, I might start the countdown then. And so just know at that point, um, is the time to get what what your bid is, what you come, what your bid is, what your final bid will be, um, and I will count down just like the same rate that I counted down from ten, and it will give you time to get your bid in. So Josie's butterfly kisses for thirty three dollars for the bluebird of happy or happiness. But I I uh, abbreviate it so I don't have to write out the whole word. Hmm. All right, I'm mixing up my pot. Okay, next we have, oh my gosh, another offer up. We'll get all the offer ups out of the way, I guess, right off the bat. But I've got this purple swung vase that I have had a lot of people ask me about. But I had already picked it to be sold in today's sale. So I had, you know, I, I already picked it. So I'm going to start this at $20. It has a sanded down pontil mark. Um, it, right here is just, it's, it's, it, they really sanded it right here. This is not a chip. It's just where it was really sanded for some reason right there. And they left this, they left this unsanded at all. But it is purple, swung vase. It's in excellent condition. There aren't any chips. And again, just like with the Bluebirds of Happiness, is to run your finger through all of the fingers just to check for chipping. In excellent condition. It's swirly. It does have the waviness in the glass. So you can see a little bit of like a some glass flaws, I guess you can in there. But it is swirly um, and it has stretched. So it, this glass is, it was blown and then they stretched it up to make that design in it. So it is purple and it's it's a darker purple. All right, I see Little Treasures by Nancy is out. Um, Helen Casey is at 35. Nope, Sandra K is at 40. We are at $40. Red is the only one that you're missing, Jamie. Jamie, you have to let me know what size. So if I'm when I'm going out, I'll look for the size that you're looking for. Helen is at 45. Sue is out. Thank you, Sue. Purple. Vase. Hey, Randy girl. Uh, just like that one with the fine five fingers. The one that this size, the smaller one. Andrea is out. Thank you. You need a six finger one like the guy in Princess Bride. Oh, Roxanne, you haven't missed too much. So you're still, you're still good. All right. So Sandra K is at $56. The purple stretched swung vase. Actually, this is a stretch vase. This is a stretch vase. Um, no, Nancy, you know what? I put the hummingbirds back. So email me, Nancy, email me about the hummingbirds. Sandra K is at 62. Yeah, Nancy, email me about the hummingbirds and I'll I'll send you a picture of them better so you can see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Thank you, Auntie, Auntie, Auntie Sash. We're at $5 increments when we get past 50. So we're looking now for, we'll just go, we'll look for $70. So $70 would be the next offer up if we get there. <laughs> Someone must have said uh, fairy lamp three times because Randy's appeared. All right. I'm going to start counting down 10. Nine, 
eight, seven, we're looking for a $70 bid, six, five, four, three, two, one, sold to purchase the plate with the little girl. I don't have a plate with a little girl in today's sale. Mm -mm. I got a plate with a dog on it, but we've sold that. The little girls were salt and pepper shakers. All right, sold to Helen Casey for $65. Thank you so much, Helen. All right, we'll put that back up there. And Emma, that was number 10, but you've probably already figured that out yet. It's on my shelves. Oh, it's on my shelves over there? Well, you can email me about it. All right. No, they're offer up. Let's stir this up a little bit more. But I have these cat towels. You will get uh, all of these. You'll get all of these in this lot. Um, they are tea towels. They are vintage. They do, like, some of them do have a couple little stains on, on the back. You can't, you're probably not even going to tell. Like, right here, there's a little stain. But the needlepoint on them is very, very nice. And you get four. Yes. So you get, and I'm starting these at $20. So you get Croon. They just met. He's crooning her. Then you get, yeah, you get spoon, because we're doing these in the order that God intended. <laughs> you get spoon, which is a little saucy. You know, it's a little saucy. Spoon, and look at the little hearts all around them. Then you get honeymoon, they're going on their honeymoon because they just got married. Then after your honeymoon, I mean, not for everybody, but you know, at the time these were made, that was what was expected. You get to have a baby soon. Look, oh, he, lo look at the heart still. He loves her. She's knitting for their baby soon. So you get all four of these vintage tea towels with the cats and all their various stages in their marriage before BC, before children. And you get all four of them. We started them at $20. And where are we at? Might be at 20. I see C Fritz at 20. See Fritz at 20 for all of the vintage tea towels. Oh, well, that's not going to help you any to see them that way. Croon. Jenny is at 25. These would be really cute framed, I think. Spoon. Joanne's at 20. No, Jenny's at 25. Um, honeymoon. Oh, look, they're going to go on a train. And soon they will have their little kittens. Their kittens. So Joanne is at 30 and uh, Jenny is out. So I'm going to start counting down 10. That we're at thirty dollars. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and sold. I believe two. Precious lavender buttons for thirty dollars. Yeah, I, I myself will. I don't like a tea towel. Hello, Dad. Hi. <laughs> I don't like a tea towel. They're too thin. 
Um, I, some, I guess you did. It depends on who you ask. Um, yeah. You're going to hang them on a mini ladder. Oh, that would be cute, Joanne. I think sometimes people will just use them for decor purposes. Like I had them hanging from the rungs of this cabinet. But I don't, I mean, it looks like they, people might have used a couple of them for maybe a dust rag or something. But I don't know. I don't like a tea towel to use. I think they're just for decoration. Like to hang from your stove or hang from your dishwasher. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm looking for a black marker. You got one. A black marker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking at my marker thing. Oh. All right, next I have finally a straight offer thing, but I have this lacquered Asian style jewelry box. It's hand painted on black lacquer. Now, it does, before I open it up, it does have some parts where the lacquer is coming off a little bit. Uh, not just in a couple of different spots, mainly around the, 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 the corners, but on the top here, it's hand painted and it has this abalone shell that's kind of inlaid all the way around it. Then when you open it up, oh, and it's got paintings on the side. Oh, the music. I thought the music box worked. Oh, it does. Well, hang on. Yeah. It kind of works. It plays music. There's the inside. Let me take her out. But the little dancing girl, she has a broken arm. I mean, she's still here, but she's fallen off of her pole. She's fallen off of her pole. Don't know. Well, there we go. Her bra is falling down too. She's got like a little piece of ribbon to be for her bra. But there she is. It has a mirror on the inside. It's pink velvet on the inside as well it has this little compartment here and a little compartment there but it is wooden with a lacquer finish on it it is 25 dollars and it's number 29 she sounds a mess she's a mess she she's a retired po listen i posted a thing when you are a stripper it takes a lot of work you get your body gets worn down after a while i mean i wouldn't know but i mean i'm assuming I see Shirley Pearl for $29. She works hard for the money. She lost her arm. Actually, she lost mainly her hand, which is kind of even more upsetting if she's a stripper. But but the thing that's cool about her, I will say, is look at her hair. She's very stylish, but she's got a little bit of problem there with her ribbon coming off. What? Yeah, that's cool. Don't show it right now because I'm not no, selling no. it right now. Oh, yeah. Who is it? It's the brand of the bird. It's a tanager. That's the kind of bird that it is. Did you get it at that new... Dad found a new antique store. Are they open on Fridays? Well, well they weren't open at Brian's. Oh. There, job. Thank you, Shirley. She was a hot mess. Her name was Lola. She was a hot mess. Shirley, you can name her whatever you'd like. Hi, Angela. All right, we're at the point in the sale. How many people do we have? We have 368 people watching. We are going to pick the fairy lamp. And it is a Fenton Persian medallion fairy lamp. And it has all three parts. So when you see these, or if you know someone's selling them in a live sale, just know that if they're like this, while they still work just fine, you can still, you know, work them just fine. Oh, I'm starting this. I'm starting this at $50, by the way. I'm starting this at $50 while I talk. Um, it's missing the insert. And the insert looks like this. It almost looks like an ashtray, but it is, it will be marked Fenton. There's, it's embossed Fenton right there. And it fits on there like that. So this is where you put your candle. This is satin glass. And then it has where the dome fits on top of it like that. So it kind of has like a little shelf that it sits on. So just know that, you know, you they, they display just fine. But just know that it's missing a piece. If it's a Fenton Persian medallion, it's missing the in insert if it doesn't have it. Now, I do have one that doesn't have the insert that I, that I will be selling. But just know 
that it's supposed to have three pieces, but there are no chips, cracks, or flaws on this. I have to take it apart in order to show you all the pieces so I don't drop it. But it is marked Fenton on the bottom there. Yeah, it does. It looks it looks fine. You can use it just like you could with without the metal in, the the glass insert, but just know that it is supposed to have to for it to be complete, it's supposed to have that clear glass insert. This does not glow. It does not glow. I'm making my I, two hands, Misty. Two hands, but I have to see where we're at. Um, Randy Girl is at 155. Thank you. Cranky Lady is out. You can see here it is the Persian medallion. Gia is at 175. Um, I had a green one like this that I sold about a month or so ago. Um, yes, this is made after 1970. Yeah, this Fenton mark in the oval means it's made after 1970. I'm going to say that this, was, this one's probably from the 1980s is going to be my guess. Um, but I did sell a green one that did glow. This one does not, unfortunately. I wish it did. G is at 190, I think. Oh my gosh. I can see. I can't do this and hold it. Okay, so we're at one. Randy Girl's at 195. Fenton Persian Medallion. Uh, after 1974. Thank you, Amanda. You have the okay, well, Donna, you bought the green one. Now listen, I got I another fairy lamp. It's stars and bars. I've never seen it before. Actually, Dad picked it up today. Um, it's stars and bars, but it looks like a Coca-Cola bottle. Like it, ha it's the Coca-Cola bottle has the Coca-Cola bottle look to it. That kind of like bluish, greenish. It doesn't glow though, but it's a cool one. I have to wash it up. <laughs> Randy, Randy's probably got. Some, Randy's been to the dentist. She might got. She might have some good Valiums. All right, so where are we at? I've lost where we're at. Um, Randy Girl's at 195. Did Gia say she was out? I know two hands, Misty. Okay, Gia is out. So 195. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna start it at because there's there's two people in it, and she said she was out. Five, four, three, two, one. Sold. Sold to Randy Girl, I do believe, for $195. Thank you so much, Randy Girl. I know. I heard. Listen, Randy's going to take all of her fairy lamps to the UK in her trench coat. Right? Hi, Sarah. Thrifter, not hoarder. Oh, that's a good name. She's going to take them and we're going to make her a special, um, she's going to, what, what did we call? She's going to be the, the fairy lamp flasher, the fairy lamp flasher. She'll be fully clothed because she's respectful flasher. <laughs> She'll love her fairy lamps. She'll probably go over there and make a million dollars. Randy, you can just retire. Everybody can retire and everyone can, you can just, just live over in the UK and, well, no, I wouldn't want to live over there because they don't have Mountain Dew. But I guess if you're a millionaire, you can maybe have Mountain Dew sent to you. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Randy girl. All right. I'm going to stir these up. But, yeah, I'm excited about that one. I, 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 it's over there, so I'm going to take it upstairs and wash it. But All right. We, we're going from the fairy lamp to a little sweet little glass swan trinket this is made in taiwan it is vintage but you know it's not you know from the 1930s or anything it's probably from the 1980s it's a little swan trinket dish on the inside here it you could well it has half the sticker don't know who made it because half the sticker is gone but i can make out uh it's made in taiwan Ooh, thrifty shutterbug we do have mountain dew in the uk Dolores said that you didn't I need to move to Canada, actually, because Canada has Mountain Dew and ketchup potato chips. 
And so I'm on my last bag of ketchup potato chips. I'm surprised it's lasted me that long, to tell you the truth. But, all right, so, oh, I didn't, this is $8, and it's number 27. The little cut glass swan trinket dish. Oh, that's right, you told me that Maine has ketchup. What is it, why? Why does Maine get the ketchup potato chips? Elaine Bagwell, you got it. Oh, they have them there, but it's taxed high because of the sugar tax. Right, I remember now. Well, maybe I, I don't know. I'm trying to drink water, more water. I love ketchup potato chips too, Katie. My gosh, they're so good. Okay, I've got a poodle. But listen. Do you hear that? It's got a little jingling in it. This is a plush poodle, that, and he's of Scottish heritage, I think. He has his original tag. He is a Trudy Toys, made in the USA, but he's got Scottish heritage, I think. And he's made with deluxe rayon plush, stuffed with airy foam, hygienic, pliable. Uh, sponge washed with soapy foam. Made in, oh, no. No, I don't know. It says it's made in uh, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Maine, and Ohio. I don't quite understand that. But anyway, there's the tag, the original tag. He has, his little dingle bell is in his ear. But he's a cute little poodle fella. He is $25.00. And he is number 16. $25, number 16. He has plastic eyes, not glass eyes. I'm He's probably from the 60s. All right, I see vintage and vino, I do believe. Yes, vintage and vino. Okay, Kitchy Cat, is, for the company picnic, is going to bring the ketchup chips. Okay, we'll write you down for that. We'll write you down for that. Ellie. Send me an email if you want me, if, you, if you're still wanting the mailbox, or the mailbox, the um, lunchbox, because I kind of forgot about it. I have it sitting over there, but, so you would think I wouldn't have forgotten about it, but, I mean, it's just the way that things are. <laughs> okay, next, I have a, now Katie probably won't like this because it's Pepsi, not Coke, but I, I'm a Pepsi girl. I'm a Pepsi girl. Hey, Carrie. Okay. All right. Do you, are you wanting me to, to get it ready this week? Okay. Email me. Okay. This is a Pepsi bottle. Now, this Pepsi bottle is not old. It says, well, because it says, it says limited edition bottle replica of a Pepsi bottle sold the 1950s through the 1960s. So isn't that nice of them to let us know? See? The thing that I that I wanted to the reason why I'm selling this is because of the little sprinkler. Now, how many of you remember these little sprinklers? Like you would put your water in here and then you would you would use this for your ironing. So uh, these just are a really fun thing to use in a uh, laundry room or kitchen. So it's just a fun little piece. This is $16 and it's number three. $16, number three, for the Pepsi bottle. Okay, so Jenny, is that you, number three? I see Jenny first. She had number three, so I'm just verifying. She, she'd said other things, but then typed in number three. So Jenny, just let me know, because I do see you first. Or number three. Okay. All right. So we got Jenny for number three. Hang on. I gotta take this piece of tape off of the handle here because it's driving me crazy. All right. Now we're good. All right. Next, I have this. These little three goofy dogs. They're made in Japan. They're like it's a mama and her goofy puppies. <laughs> these are hound dogs, I do believe, but. The mama is awake and tired, and there's her two little babies sleeping. 
probably been kept her up all nights. Made in Japan, no chips, cracks, or flaws in it. You know, a lot of times we see these long neck cats. Well, these are long neck dogs. I love their little spots. I was gonna say, I was waiting on Jamie. Jamie, and but then there's Blake over here sleeping on the couch, right? So <laughs> isn't that 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 would be more mm -hmm, more relatable. These are $14, number 17. $14, number 17 for the long neck dog figures. Hello, I see Lena McCord. Hello, Polly. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing okay. Blake's sound asleep. Yep. They want something. Do you have a father? Go ask your father. <laughs> All right. Offer up for. I don't quite know, but this is a little paperweight. It's so cute. Let me just check something real quick. Okay, I wanted to make sure. This, I'm going to start this at $15. It is, oh, hi, happy days. Happy days. Happy days, if you're wanting to participate right now, send me an email with your actual name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email, and you're good to go, my dear. Welcome. Hi, Virginia. All right, so we've got the little panda paperweight. Look at his little hands. His little hands are not, well, aren't they applied? I think that they are, no? You know what, I can't tell if his hands are applied, but his ears are stretched and they're, they're, they've got black, they're black. I can't tell if his hands were ap applied or not. On the inside, he does have amber and orange and green. And he's got the little Millefiori eyes. That's what I was checking. I was like, are those painted on there? But they're not. It's, it's, it's inside the glass. He has a very nice sanded bottom. We're starting him at $15. I mean, he looks a little, he looks like he's been, like that lettuce that he's eaten has maybe been, you know, cooked a little too long. But he's got a sweet little face though. But his eyes are a little his eyes, eyes are a little out there. And he's only oh let me see what you do with your paper. He's only two inches tall. So Cindy is at 18. He is cute. Little blown glass paperweight of a panda. Wasn't quite sure what the interest would be on a art glass panda, but you never know. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. Don't do that, Misty. There he is. So we are at $18 with a little two inch art glass panda. And I'm gonna start counting down 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. Two, Cindy Tunstall for $18. Yes, got you in there. Yeah, I wasn't for sure. You know, we all know that cats and dogs, but pandas, don't know. And he's a little guy, but sometimes size doesn't always matter. People like the little things. All right. So thank you so much, Cindy. All right. Next, we have an offer up for the Norcrest Piggy Bank. Now, I'm going to start him at $20. $20. He is made by Norcrest. He has his sticker. He also has a stamp there. He does not have his stopper, but all of his little rosettes are in excellent condition. And look at his little tail. 
Look at that little corkscrew tail. Even his little tail, the little tip of his tail is still excellent. He's got a cute little classic Norcrest pottery face. I keep calling you a he, but maybe you're a boy because boys can like flowers too. You have to be a boy or a girl just because you got flowers on you. So Cindy is at $22. Norcrest, original sticker, no stopper, which makes it easy for me to hold him up. I know, isn't he cute with his lashes and all of the little rosettes all over his body. Cranky Lady Vintage is at 26. Love him. Super cute. Uh, Kim Roger, no, Cranky Lady is at still at 26. Cutie, cutie. I love that he has the little rosettes on his ears too. And the little, um, the green leaves are all hand painted on there. Oh, yay, Ellie. I, I loved that too. That, Ellie, that, that jewelry box that you bought was probably up there on one of my very favorite things that I've ever sold. I love that piece. And it's one of those things that's probably going to be one of my things that like, Maybe, you know, several years down the line, there are going to be people, when you get asked that question, what's the one thing, what's some of the things that you regret selling? And I don't regret selling it because I know that how much you enjoy it too, but I don't know. It's just, it was a special piece. I liked it. Thank you, something different. All right, Kim is at 30. I'm going to start counting down 10. So if you're wanting him, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Josie's at the one. Josie got, um, we'll see as soon as Emma gets. Okay, stop. Josie's Butterfly Kisses got it at $31, I think. Yes, $31. I saw Christine. I I buy unique piggy banks for new baby gifts and origami money. Oh, that's a good idea. If you can do origami. I guess I could watch a YouTube video on that. Is there a reference place for stickers and what brand they are if it's only a partial sticker? One thing that you could do um, is go to a Google image search. You might be able to find something on that. Um, or you, after a while, you get to learn, like, I know the shape of a Lufton sticker. I know the shape of a Norcrest sticker. You'll start to know, even if it's just the remnants of, like, the the... The sticker residue, you get to know the 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 shape of it, but you might be able to, if it's a partial, you might be able to try on a Google image search, possibly. Thank you for being a good sport. I know I, it always makes me very nervous, but at the, you know, at the same time, and trust me, I get it. I have a sad item that needs to come live with you. Oh, it's not a clown. You have to send me a picture. Um, the thing that is, is, I, you know, people want the offer ups, but the offer ups do take a, quite a bit longer. Um, and, you know, if everyone's doing like a dollar, 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 which tr trust me, I get um, it. It can take a lot longer and I don't want my sale to be longer than two hours. I, I want it to to go by quickly. So. There, I know other people are wanting to have sales and I can get started on doing some other things. So I'm trying to keep it in a two hour time frame. So that's why I say, you know, maybe do like a $5 increment and then that might cause some other people to be out. And then, so I, I understand, trust me, I understand. You try to get things for as little as you can. I, I totally understand that. But we also have to keep time frame into into mine too. Um, no, Maria, you're still good. We have, we have quite a, we're about half, maybe halfway through. All right. The next thing I have is this art glass fish. Now I don't believe that this is incredibly old at all. 
Um, but it's still an art glass, and he's got his mouth wide open. Nom, 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 nom. But he, I think he might be an angel, an angel fish, possibly. But he is $18. I'm not doing him as an offer up. He has a very nice polished um, bottom. Don't think that he's Murano or anything, but he, he does have a very, very nice polished bottom. Yeah, we're kind of like Dory. More, more. Emma was telling me I sound like Dory the other night. I can't remember what we were doing. I was trying to come up with a sound of something, and I sounded like Dory, but anyway. This is $18, and it is number 15. More. Just keep swimming. $18, number 15. For the art glass fish. Kim Rogers, I see you. I see you. Oh, Danny. I'm so, but thank you for coming. You can, you can lurk and work. Lurking and working. But I understand. One of these, I mean, tomorrow night I'll be on Patrick, the trusty huckster mercantiles channel for a live sale with him. So if you can, you can come back on Thursday night and watch and there'll be four of us. All at the, well, not all at the same time, but all on the same channel. Okay, next thing I have is this art glass blue trinket um, trinket dish. Um, I do want to say before I before I say anything else, there is one spot at this corner. I don't think that it's a flaw, like it's like a purposeful flaw. I think it was a flaw in the making process, but it is a little rough right there it isn't it isn't a chip but can you hear that it's got like a little a little rough spot on it but i am going to start this at 12 dollars, and it is this really pretty oh, i love this collar little i don't know if it was meant to be an ashtray because it does have these little divots in here but we're going to say that it's a little cute little trinket dish and it's got this beautiful millie fiore in there which is what those little flower things are it's just how they've the cane's been cut into this little trinket dish making it into a pattern again i have these cute little you can get these at joann's or probably any crafting store the small plate racks so you can put up your smaller pieces now i wouldn't put diagonal but you know you could also hang it on the wall too if you had a hanging plate stand. So I see Karen Lay is at $15. I love this blue. It's like a, it's a, like an ocean blue. So, you know, you could use it to put your rings and things in. You could also put a, a candle. Let's try that. Let's look at this together. So you could also put like a little candle in it too. Now I wouldn't put just a straight votive candle in it. This has like a little plastic ring around it too. So it would be a cute little thing like on an entryway table to have like a little, little bit of something with this blue color on it. I think is really, really nice or in a bathroom. Okay. I think I saw Lori is out. I think I saw... Oh, Dollar Tree. Oh, yeah. They do have them in there, Shirley. You're right. All right, so Lucy Van Pelt is at 20. Lucy Van Pelt is at 20 for the blue Millie Fiore trinket dish. So I'm going to start counting down. I do see Lori is out, but I haven't seen everybody say out. And I'm going to say 10, 9, 8, Seven, last bids at 20, six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. Oh no, Annie P got it for $21. I'm so sorry, Lucy Van Pelt. But I mean, but congratulations to Annie. 
Oh, it's just, I mean, it, sometimes the lag can still, can still, after me counting down to 10, it can still play into effect, but I think that it does make it a little bit, it slows it down a little bit, you know, a little bit. Oh gosh, who said that? Auntie Christie, yeah, right. You know, I would get so much hate for that. Because for that. listen, the thing of it is, the way that people do things is not, it, it may not work for everybody. Sugar britches. Hello, sugar britches. Sugar britches. Someone told me in the comments that I need to make a shirt that says sugar britches. I'm like, I can't. That's sugar britches merch. Um, okay, sold to Andy P for $21. Um, yes, go ahead, flipping flamingos, and you can send me an email right now. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. You can just do it right now. I mean, you don't have to like do it in advance. In advance, in advance. Okay. Oh, no. I'm working on Emma. Emma needs to be making me some more merch. We're on, but she's very busy. It's final week. Finals week. She's taking finals this week. And yet, she's still here to help her mother. I mean, I'm paying her. But still, she's here. She's still... Well, I mean, she's... He, she's not here. She's in Evansville. But she's here. You know what I mean? All right. We're going back to some Fred Roberts, and I have a set of six of the Fred Roberts. Oh, boy. I'm not going to do it this way. How about we do it this way? So we have, and I don't know what birds these are, but you get all six of them in this lot. I'm starting it at $15, $15. So we have the brown, which looks like poo-poo, the poo-poo brown, which is a horrible way for me to try to sell something, but... The Poo Poo Brown Bird. You get all of these. We're starting these at $15. We've got the Really Pretty Orange Bird. The Pedestal Mugs. Fred Roberts. We've got the Pretty Green and Blue and Orange Bird. Would these be like Irish coffee mugs? We have the Yellow Bird with the Daisies. We have... The Bluebird, I love this one with the blue, with the light blue. And then my favorite, and I put my little helper in it, is the Cardinal with the red. Boop. Butterscotch, not poo-poo. So uh, these, again, I know, I mean, maybe you, you can use these. I wouldn't put them in your dishwasher. I would hand wash them. They are transfers on there. They're not ha hand painted on there. But these are so cute and on a shelf. That's the way I had them, I took them down because I knew I didn't want to bend down or put my back every time I wanted to grab one down. But they are in excellent condition. There's no chips on them anywhere. They look so good all up in a display. And sometimes some of these cabinets, you know, will have hooks where you can hang them. And again, they do these colors and they're spring and fun. You can put air plants in them if you want and then still put some of them behind there. So they do look really, really nice. And these are pretty collectible. You These sell pretty well on eBay. Um, it's for all of them. You get every single one, all six of them, four, five, six, yes. So we are at, uh, Sally Costca is at $21. So yeah, you get all six of the Fred Roberts mugs. All right, Samantha Richer is at 25. Butterscotch. <laughs> so Samantha Richer is at 25. I like this one because I'm like, this green color is just, I'm like, a, like an aqua blue color, but I'm loving this green. Lena is out. Thank you, Lena. Auntie Christy is at 27. Oh, look at me. Okay, here we go. You guys ready for this? Pray. I'm using two hands, though. Two hands. And all, you get all of these mugs. Now I can't see where we're at. Okay. Uh, oh, Sally Koska is at $31. And now I do have more of these. This is, 
I think this is my only complete, I don't know if there are six or if there are eight, to be honest, in a complete set. But I have more, but I don't think I have like the yellow and the green. I got lots of reds. And so if you have some of these and you need a color, send me an email and I'll see if I've got it. Because I do have some other ones over there, uh, but I but not another set of six. So so Kim Z, you can send me an email if you if you are just wanting a couple of them and I'll see, I'll let you know what colors I have left. And because I need they've taken up a lot of space. And I need to I need to find homes. They need to be rehomed. All right, so Auntie Christy. Okay, Eva's out. All right, I'm going to start counting down. We're at $32 for all six. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. I do believe from four to Auntie Christie for $32. Yes, I didn't break one yet. But yeah, if, you, if you're if you interested in a couple of these, just send me an email and I'll let you know which, which colors I have left. I know I, I know I got the poo-poo. I think I got orange. I don't think I have the blue or the green, but, I, but maybe I do. I have to go back there and look. So the best thing to do is just to send me an email and I'll let you know once I have left. Well, I still have to ship them though, Lori. So I still have to touch them another time. And I, I, I've been breaking stuff lately and it's not good. I think it's because I'm going too fast. I'm going faster than what my brain is telling me I can go faster than what my body allows me to. So that's where I'm at. I need to slow down. Okay. Oh, where is it at? Oh, there. I thought, oh, I don't have my black light. See, I'm trying to keep all my little tools under my shelf here so this is i wish i had more of these but i i don't this is a little uranium and this this glows let me tell you so this is a fancy shot glass or a cordial i don't quite know or a little mini bud vase but it i mean look i have a huge bright light right in front of us and you can see how well that, that glows isn't that great oh Lori, do you know how many sunglasses I've thrown away? Prescription sunglasses? Because I have too many things in my hand. And you just like taking things to the trash. And then like three days later, you're like, where are my sunglasses? And the trash has already been picked up. It is too small for a beer glass. But you could drink vodka out of it. <laughs> but yeah, this is great. It's $10 and it's number seven. And it has like this block optic to it as well. So it's $10, number seven. Ooh, ooh. Wouldn't it be neat? Well, you know what we need to do for the company picnic? It's, I see Shirley Pearl. We're in a black room where there's black ceiling, black walls, black floor, and it's all black lights everywhere. And everyone drinks out of uranium and they eat off of uranium. And like every, the only thing that's glowing in the room is the uranium glass. Wouldn't that be fun? I mean, we wouldn't be able to see each other, but it would be fun, I think. Just just a thing, just a thought. All right. And the next items, these also go together as as a rave. <laughs> yeah. And we can all wear. We can all wear um, those glowy necklaces and maybe the glowy necklace suits. And, you know, where you look like a, a stick person. That'd be fun. Because then nobody could see you. So you could just be a dancing fool out there. And no one's, no one's going to see anything jiggling or jangling. They'd be like, oh, look, we're all the same. We're all stick people. Mm -hmm. I think we should try that. If you're coming to Jeffrey's, maybe I'll see if we can get Jeffrey on that. That'll be at his at his uh, pop-up shop. Not this weekend, but the next. Okay, so this is a lot of 
mushrooms. Mushroom sun catchers. Um, this one has the hole in it to where you can you can put another uh, fishing line in there, but I don't I didn't. So you could make these into um, a wind chime, I guess. But I honestly think that they would be just be neat on one window. Like if you had this one and then the other one's kind of trailing behind it. So you do get all four of them. There is one of the little mushrooms. I think it's this guy right here. Okay, I'll just do this as a comparison. Do you see how all of the lead is in there? Like down here with all of the dots. And then this one doesn't have that part. And then one of the dots is missing. But these are glass. They're not plastic. Um, and then this one, you know, so just the yellow one is missing the metal part, but you get all four of these sun catchers for $16 and they're number 18, $16 number 18 for the lot of four mushroom sun catchers. What did I miss? Oh, oh, hi, Christine. I see side street market. Mushrooms to stare at after the rave. <laughs> no, they're not flash glass. That is actual uh, lime green glass, dark green glass, amber glass, yellow glass, red glass. They're not flashed. It is the actual. It's like sun catchers the way sun catchers should be made back in the day. There wasn't any of this plastic stuff, the flash stuff. You know, I do, and I thought about selling it tomorrow during Patrick's sale. But I have, you remember those make it and bake it kits? I found one that's never been used. Remember those? And it's of a bird, I think. It's a make it and bake it. That was all the rage when I in the 80s was make it and bake it. Like you would make one and you give it to your grandma for her birthday. You know, eclectic treasure hunter. Oh, trust me, back in the early 90s when I was in college, we would empty out the, well, we would empty out the liquor bottles. You know, we'd pour the liquor down the drain and then we would fill it up with water, open up a um, glow stick, pour the glow stick juice inside the water, shake it up, and then you'd have all of your bottles with um, black light. Mm. You'd have your black light. And then all your liquor bottles would glow. Did anybody else do that? Was that just me and my silly friends? Um, Patrick, Virginia, Patrick is the trusty huckster mercantile. Trusty huckster mercantile. Um, so uh, maybe someone will put in the link to his channel in the chat. Or actually maybe even put the link. Well, I guess I can do that. After the video goes up, I will... Um, uh, put the link to his channel in below and you'll Virginia I'm gonna I'm going to take some pictures and I'll announce it and stuff on my Instagram I I am one person that I don't usually advertise for things until like the day before because I always think that people will forget so anything that I'm going to do I don't post it until the day before I give it a good 24 hour notice and and that's what I'm always worried about people forgetting things so I put down the drink um, but Trusty Huckster Mercantile, and it's going to be me and Tr Patrick and Fat Bird Finds, and you've been introduced to them, and Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. So we're all going to be selling things. It's a four-way sale. Oh, thank you, Angela. Thank you so much. Uh, me and my friends drank the alcohol in the bottles. <laughs> I went to Ball State. Yeah, oh, I forget all the time. That's why I, I do it like... You do it the day before and you and you just you like you let make sure people know and people see it. What's the little yellow flower? Oh, I haven't gotten to that one. That one? We haven't done that one yet, Virginia. Okay. Well, look at there. You ask and you shall receive. We have this cute little McCoy. Flower pot. This was taken from my for front porch. Um, I have a lot of succulents and um, basically hens and chicks more than anything. Oh, not this? What are you talking about? Virginia? Top shelf, yellow flower. 
Oh, that thing. I'll show that here in a second. We probably got time. Yeah, we got time. Because we're about done. This is a little McCoy flower pot. It has the, the little built-in water collector tray. But you can see here it has like a little water spout. So you put your little plant in there and then you can water it and it'll, it'll hold in the water. Cute little bamboo. I, I don't know if this is the bamboo design, but that's what I always think when I see this. It kind of looks like a little straw basket, but bamboo. This is $18 and it is number two. $18. Hello, Mia. $18 number two. Very cute little flower pot. I see Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. All right, we have three more things. And then I'll show that over there. And then I'll do that a different way. But all right, I got some brooches. This is the first one. This is going to be $18. I was looking at it, and it is not marked, but it is the cute little doxy. And that stone right there, let me just double check. Sometimes it's so hard to tell. Okay. That dark spot on his ear is where there is, there is a missing snow. Golly, are you a missing stone? Let me get my loop. Because I can't tell. I can't tell if it is a missing stone or, and it's just like a dark spot or if it's a dark stone. Okay. It's a missing stone. It's a missing stone. So we got the little doxy. That is a missing stone. He has a red rhinestone in his eye. Cute little doxy. He is actually, he's going to, I'm going to make him $16. He's $16. He's in a silver bezel, lobster claw clasp, and he is number 14. 14. Oops. Um, this is a Western Canada thing, but have you had, have any of you had a Namaro book? No, I have not. Uh, yes, I did, Angela. All right, so the little doxy is $16, number 14. Yeah, you could add a little pearl or a little stone in there, but he is a little doxy, which I know a lot of people like. And if he doesn't sell today, I might try to add my own little stone in there. When I first glanced down, I, I honestly thought when I first glanced down at him that it was like a black stone. And not a missing stone. That's why I really had to look at it through the loop. All right. I'm not seeing anybody for him. All right. Oh, I, remember, I remember Boone's Farm too. Trust me. I think that was the first thing that I was forced to remember was Boone Farm, Boone's Farm. All right, two more things. Graduation time is coming up. I have a senior who will be graduating. My little baby, he's just a baby. He's just a tiny little baby boy, but he's somehow old enough to graduate from high school. But he would not want this, so... <laughs> But it's a little graduation bear. He's also a bank. He doesn't have his stopper. And I think that um, he probably had like, I mean, not around the stopper, but he had like some felt there. Wait. Oh, E6000. Yeah, I do have some E6000. There for a while, I, we were doing some, we were making some jewelry pieces. Emma and I had tried to do that, but um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of something on him. But yes, yeah, to save money for college, Jody, you're right. I know, Tracy, that was just what I was getting ready to say. How adorable is this for a kindergarten graduation? Now, he does not have his stopper. And I don't know, do they sell replacement stoppers? I don't know. I mean, I probably would just put tape over the bottom of it, but 
think it was some washi tape on the bottom of it. But it's super cute. I think just like for a graduation open house or, you know, a kindergartner would just think that this is cool to be able to get. But it has his little uh, cap on. Very cute little face. His body is like a little blue color. But then he has these pink rosy cheeks. Oh, you're... Oh, Barb, he is. Oh, my gosh. It'll, you'll blink your eye and he'll be graduating from high school. And then my little baby girl's graduating from college in December. But he is $16 and he's number six. Um, Trusty Huckster Mercantile is the channel for Thursday night sale. Trusty Huckster Mercantile. He, Belinda Carroll, you got the graduation beer. Oh, I thought he had teeth. That's just the paint on his under under his mouth. Because if you had teeth, you'd be an extra. You'd be a little extra. I mean, not extra as far as price, but extra as far as an extra cool. All right, the last item I have is another brooch. So I don't know. We may not have any brooch people in. And this isn't, a, well, we're just going to show it to you. You know what? I have something else here that I don't have a card for. So actually, this isn't the last item. Actually, I have two more items that I didn't have a card for. So we'll just make something up. But I will show the brooches. And they are they are sterling. They are sterling brooches. Um, but they are of a little Dutch boy and a Dutch girl. You can see here he is bringing some tulips to his little girlfriend. She's got a little black basket in her hand. They are sterling. You do get the pair of them. Um, and I was going to do these as an offer up. I'm still going to do them as an offer up. I'm going to start them at $12. So you do get the pair of them. $12 is what the starting offer is. Emma, these are number 19. So if anybody, there's any interest, I'm going to start them at $12 or we'll sell them at $12 if there's only one person interested. All right. So, okay. I'm seeing Gia is at 15. I'm going to move my cart to the side. Gia is at 15. Shirley is at 16. Bye, Angela. Oh, it goes this way if you wore them. Like, you saying, hello, lovely lady. Here is your tulip. Oh, thank you. Now you gotta, ch you have to chase me a little further. Let's go over here. All right, Shirley is out. Thank you, Shirley. Gia is at 20. You do get the pair of them. Hi. All right, I'm gonna start counting down 10, nine, eight, seven, we're at $20, six, five, four, three, two, one, sold. Okay, sold to, I've already forgotten, I'm sorry, Gia, Gia Schaefer for $20. Thank you so much, Gia. Now, I have two items that were supposed to be offer up, so we're going to do this because they're sitting over here and we've got some time, so we're just going to do it. So I have a lot of postcards. I keep hearing, because we have that creepy guy that showed up the other day. Don't know about him. Okay, so here are the postcards. You will get all of these postcards in this lot. I'm going to start it at $15 for the entire lot of, these are the booklet postcards. We have Royal Gorge, Colorado. This one has a postmark date of 1955. And they, you know, they're the, they're the photo postcards. So there is the front. There is the back. And then we have Portsmouth, Ohio. I love the ones like that. 
And there is the other side. This one does not have any postage on it, but on the inside there is the U.S. Grant Bridge. But, you know, it's also a photo. So that one's Portsmouth, Ohio. And then we have Souvenir of Northern California. Oh, my, my favorite part is on the other side. Look, Souvenir of California. So this one's North, Northern California. This one also does not have a postage mark on it, but on the inside it says January 29th through 30th, 1956. There on the inside. Again, we're starting these at $15. This one's Northern California. Jamie's at 20. Then we have Irish Hills, Michigan. Uh, 1950. Labor Day, 1950. Famous historic Walker's Taverns. Fascinating sightseeing. And again, no postage on it, but it has a written date on it. And then we have Augusta, Georgia. And no postage on this one. It doesn't have any writing on it, but again, I probably from the 1950s. And then the last one we have, it's a souvenir folder of Dover, Delaware. Dover, Delaware. And again, another souvenir postcard lot. But you do get all six. I think there's six. So we get one, two, three, four, yeah, five, and six six postcards souvenir folder postcards and i think i saw jamie at twenty dollars i'm gonna count down ten nine eight oh wait i saw jamie was out eight okay samantha's at 25 eight seven six five four Three, two, one, sold. Hi, happy day, uh, happy days. I saw. Boop, boop, boop. Building up my confidence. Thank you all for being so nice. I've subscribed. Oh, thank you. Welcome, happy days. You come back anytime. Anytime. So these were sold to Samantha Richer for $25. I still have. A couple more lots of these that I will be selling. Then the last item today, before I do the giveaway, is the Tanala Duck. And I'm going to start him at $18. He is a downward-facing duck in a very soft earth tones, earth tone collect, or earth tone collection. I saw Samantha said collection, and my mind went there. Um, it has a Made in Mexico sticker on the bottom. We're starting him at $18. I like the earth tone coloring on this. His paint is very, very well, well done. He is not signed by the artist. He is made in Mexico. He doesn't have those little nubbins. He lays flat. Uh, I'll use the book. Yeah. See, he's downward facing. These actually look really nice when you have another one uh, next to it. That's, you know, that's an upward facing duck. I sold an upward facing duck yesterday. But he's in excellent condition. There's his beak. Uh, I see Shirley is at $25. Shirley, oh, thanks. They need to, uh, I think, I don't know if I'm going to, when I have them read, when I go in to have them filled, I don't like having fake nails. I really don't. So I think I'm going to have them take these off because my nails are just as long as the acrylics and I'm going to have them maybe do a dip. I don't want, I don't want fake nails. I don't, they just, because they get too long and I can't do anything. I mean, I don't have them on, like I have them cut down every time I go in. I just, I don't like them real long. So, but my nails are so brittle that I had to do something. So I'm hoping that I can maybe do a dip on them and that might help. All right. Um, oh, Lord. Hi, Lori. 
Lori's at $30 and Shirley said she's out. I'm going to start counting down from 10. 10, 9, shellac. Yeah, I need to do something like that. 8, 7, oh, it is. A dip is acrylic. 6, 5, 4, Oh, Joanne's at 33. Two. One. Sold. And Emma has to type it in. I see Blue Flamingo at 36. Oh! Emma, uh, you got it, Lori. At $36, Joanne, you were right below. So Lori sold to Lori Blue Flamingo Mercantile for $36. Yep. I find broke down. Wait, what'd you say? I finally broke down and went natural during the pandemic. Yeah, I listen, I don't, I don't like to get, I mean, I've never gotten, I mean, I used to back a long time ago, but I don't like to take the time to go and get it done. So I just don't. And I know they always bug me whenever I have gotten them done. So, but my nails were so brittle and breaking and I, they were like cut down to the nubbins. So I went and got these hoping that my nails would grow and then I could have them take these off, which I know that your nails are very, very weak after having them off. So I need to have something on them to keep them strong. So we're going to see how it goes. But anyway, all right, I'm going to show you, Virginia wanted to see this guy real quick and I will show it. And what I'm going to do is... If you're interested in this you can send me an email it is a wooden um and this is made out of wood and it has a little terracotta pot so you hang this up on your patio or on your porch you hang that up and you can put a little well what see you can put a little plant in it but it needs to be hung because if you set it down i mean i guess maybe if you had some soil in that pot it might stand up but it would need to be hung. So that's what that is, Virginia. So you can send me an email if you're interested in that. Okay, Virginia wants it. She asked me about it. So this is, Virginia, Virginia, this is going to be $12. So send me the email, Virginia. I'm gonna sell it to Virginia since she was asking about it. I just didn't know if you, you were still here, Virginia. So that is it. Now I'm gonna do the giveaway. And look at us. Woo! We did it in two hours. Now I still have this. Still have the dachshund. We'll do 14. That's as low as I'm going for him. $14 for the dachshund. 14 for number 14. So if you want the little dachshund, 14. He is missing a stone that I thought was a black stone, but I didn't look close enough. $14, number 14 for the dachshund. So if you want the dachshund, then type in number 14 for $14. Okay, Val M. Okay, your number's going in, Val. Val M. Got the brooch. Now we're doing the giveaway. The first, the rag garland. I got it actually from, um, and all it is is a piece of twine with the rag fabric on it. Actually, it's a, um, it's one of those vines with the flowers on it. And then they just use that vine. I'm sorry. I was thinking of another one that I have and they just tied it from that vine. So that would be easy to do. But sometimes when you see it, you're like, I don't have to make it. But yeah, it wasn't very expensive either, but I love it. All right. The first person, the person that will win the made in Germany vase with the vintage rescue squad sticker is the person that won number five, which was the girl bonnet shakers. I think I know who that was. I think, I think I know, but Emma knows. But in my mind, I don't want to say who it was in case I was wrong. But you win the made in, that's why I thought, Joanne. Joanne, you won the made in Germany vase with a vintage rescue squad sticker. The next winner will win a uh, stay weird sticker. 
and the tired girl made in japan vase again these stickers are available both of them they're four dollars if you're interested you can just send me an email and let me know and that winner is the person who won number 19 which was the sterling the sterling boy and girl pins could be it could be the same person number 19 gia schaefer gia schaefer you won the stay weird sticker with the tired girl look at us we did it we did it in two hours so yay 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 so thank you guys so so much don't forget that i will be oh yeah don't forget give me a thumbs up if you have a youtube channel if you're having a sale if you have something that you want to promote go ahead and do that in the comments once the video goes live and um, I, I will have, if you share a link, I'll have to approve it, but I will. So put all of that in the comments once the video goes up. And don't forget that tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is going to be, um, it's going to be myself, Fat Bird Finds, and Katie from Vintage and Vital on Trusty Huckster Mercantile's channel. We are having a live sale, a four-way sale. It's going to be a lot of fun. And tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time will be Michelle Comfy Cozy Living Sale. She's having a boho sale. So make sure that you do check her out. And do I have another pig like the white one with the flowers? Email me about it. I might have something similar, and I'll send you a picture of it if I do. Thank you guys so much. And um, two hours, that's always my goal. I want to get, get it done in two hours. So I think 30 items... 30, 30 items is the key. So thank you guys so much. Boho sale is on Michelle Comfy Cozy Living. She is uh, the, the gal that I have the Tuesday sales with. So make sure that you go over to Michelle with one L, Michelle Comfy Cozy Living. Uh, thank you guys so, so much. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Sally. I will read it. Thank you guys. And I, oh, next week. Next Wednesday, my girl Emma will be in-house. She'll be in here in-house. So thank you guys so much. I will see you later, and thanks for watching. Bye.